The digital takeoff recording options are located at the bottom of your screen. You'll see we have Snap, Ortho, Freehand, Verify Points, and a Record Mode. All of these options can be turned on or off simply by clicking on their location. Record Mode will toggle between point to point and box. Snapping allows an object to easily be positioned in alignment with another object by causing it to automatically jump to an exact position when you drag it in the proximity of the desired location. So to demonstrate this, I'm just going to grab a linear. And as I move my cursor close to the corners of our rectangle on the screen, you'll notice the red box that shows up. And what that red box is, is the snap to the existing point. So I could snap to that point, digitize around the screen, snap to that point, so on and so forth. Ortho, simply put, means straight. Ortho will stay locked in the horizontal, vertical, and 45 degree axis. You can temporarily override this option by holding the shift key while you set the next point. Now let me demonstrate this. So we have our ortho mode, and you'll see I'm locked in a horizontal axis, or I'm locked in a vertical axis, or right on a 45 degree axis. By holding my shift key, I can now smoothly go through any angle that I choose. If I let go of the shift key, I'm now locked back on a 45 vertical or horizontal axis. So it's really going to give you the ability to keep your lines nice and straight and true. Freehand allows the takeoff of a freeform object. By turning this on and holding the left mouse button down while you are active in an area or linear takeoff tool, your lines will follow the cursor movement. So I have my freehand mode turned on and I will hold down the left mouse button. Notice that the tooltip next to the cursor just changed the text to freehand, so I know that I'm in freehand mode. Now I can simply just drag my mouse around the screen for a freeform object. Point verification allows you to modify the exact length of the segment you are taking off on the fly. When you click each point after starting the takeoff tool, you will be prompted with a dialog box in which you can adjust the dimension. I'll start with a new linear, click my first point, I'm going to turn my ortho on, and you'll see the tooltip next to the cursor giving me my approximate length. When I click the second point, I'm prompted to verify the entry, and you'll see I have 53 feet 2 inches. If I had a known dimension, let's say I needed that to be 55 feet, I could simply click the arrows up or down to adjust that dimension. 55 feet, 2 inches, could back that down to zero. Now our record mode. Right now it's set as point to point, pretty straightforward. It sets a point each time you click your mouse while actively recording in the takeoff tool. Box mode is a two-click drawing mode where your takeoff tool records a series of rectangular or square boxes by clicking two opposite corners such as the upper left and lower right. You'll see at the tooltip at the cursor that I'm currently in box mode. That will change depending on what mode you're in. So what I'll simply do is click my first point and you'll see how I'm automatically locked to draw a rectangle. I can go down to the right, I can go up to the left, just straight off to the right, it doesn't matter where you go, it's just two points that you're going to click. First point, second point.